What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I've talked a lot about the dumpster fire that the Claude Julien coached um, Montreal Canadiens have experienced this season, but this latest wrinkle it might be the most interesting. So Dan Milstein, who's an uh, NHL player agent, tweeted: Alex Galchenyuk isn't a problem, but his coach is. Uh, took midseason. Took over midseason, most Russian team in the NHL, all but one Russian gone. Never successfully coached Russian player. Not wrong on any of those counts. But um, Milstein isn't Galchenyuk's agent, which is like you going on Twitter and saying your buddy's ex-girlfriend is a raging slut. Not not the time or place to do it, and really not your your position to, to hold. Um, so that that creates an interesting wrinkle to it. This is just a. You can't blame anything in this have steam on any one person. I mean, I guess Mark Bergevin, technically, maybe. But I'm just looking around, I'm like, this talent on this roster is just not producing. You know, they're not a good hockey team right now. They're 2-8-1. and one. That is not a good way to start your season through 11 games, especially in a hockey craze market like Montreal where they demand success. And given how much ticket price they are at the Bell Center, fuck, they should be getting that. You know, it's, it's frustrating to see this play out. Because, it, you know, as much as Bruins fans grew frustrated with Claude, I thought they treated him like shit on the way out the door. And I, I kind of, I wasn't saying I was rooting for the Habs this season, but it, to see Claude get some redemption, I think would have been good on for a lot of real Bruins fans like myself that look back on what he did in 2011, helping shape that team up and train with a team that won the Stanley Cup. But, I mean, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, I, I do not know what to, to make of this Galchenyuk situation. I think they will trade him. I think there's a good chance maybe New Jersey. I don't know. Um, but I, I don't know why I think New Jersey, I just think it's kind of an interesting fit for him. Um, but I, I, and some said Pittsburgh, that's not happening. Galchenyuk to Pittsburgh is fucking, unless Pittsburgh wants to be the Golden State Warriors in the NHL, which I'm sure they want to be, but want, shit in one hand, want in the other, that's who fills up first. Um, this is just not an ideal situation, and it's only going to get worse in Montreal. Like, I hate to say that, Habs fans, I know you guys are our loyal listeners, watchers, subscribers, but... This isn't getting better. Like, you're not going to snap your fingers and have this situation not be completely fucked. You know, I I, I guess some of the blame falls on, uh, or most of the blame, I guess, falls on Bergevin. But, you know, the, the players aren't producing. And you can blame the coach, but that's always kind of a lazy way out. So, you know, it's I think it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better. And they might end up firing Claude with three-plus years of his contract. So, we'll see what happens. But... You know, and then the, the Mario Tremblay thing, I, w I just wanted to comment on that real quick. Uh, saying that Galchenyuk was in substance abuse um, programs this summer. Uh, first of all, A, that's not your place to, to chime in. That's a confidential thing between, a pl you know, God bless him for getting help. But for two, who gives a fuck? And see, screw you, Mario Tremblay. You've done more to damage that franchise than anyone I can think of. You know, you, you're the reason why I wanted out. You helped push Subban out the door, and now you're, you know, running Galchenyuk's name through the mud. I mean, if he was any worse, it would be a fucking me talking head of the Boston media, but, you know, Tremblay sucks, and, you know, the Galchenyuk situation, I think he will be traded before the end of the year. I think he will be traded, and I think Claude will be fired in the next six months. But I think it's it's not turning around anytime soon. You know, for a team that entered the year with expectations of being a cup contender, uh, not what you wanted. So, let's do what happens. Anyway, that's all I got. So, to the power play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.